So awakening is just the beginning. It's like the little bud on the tree when it pops open. It was hidden and then there comes a moment where the bud emerges and that's the beginning, that's awakening, the moment that if you like the veil of self comes undone and we see through new eyes, we see the light. Yeah? Our vision, our perception, I'm not just talking uh, vision in the eyes, I mean the, the, the seeing capacity of a human being, the capacity to experience life. Yeah, We see clearly, we see not through the veil of the self, which is basically made up of the identity with my thoughts, identifying with my thoughts, identifying with my feelings, identifying with my emotions, identifying with my experiences, identifying with my memories. It's not that these get negated or erased. It's just that our identification with these phenomenal displays comes undone. So no longer is our experience veiled or end darkened. It's illuminated. Yeah? It's free of identity. And in this moment, we are free from the prison of self. Hmm? This is awakening. However it happens, whether it's spontaneous, whether it's gradual, whether it's fleeting, whether it's abiding, whether it's caused, seemingly caused by something, deep in meditation, in silence, deep in beauty, in nature, deep in stillness, or a realization through inquiry, deep inquiry. It could be any situation, any cause or causes that come together in the moment of awakening. If that is not fleeting, yeah, and there are many fleeting moments that come and go, if it's not fleeting and it's more an abiding state, it's still just the beginning. <laughs> it's just the beginning because this Freedom, if you like, this freedom from self, this new view, this new vision, this new, if you like, reality. We can be easily entranced by that. Entranced means that some vestige of self, because there's still a vestige of self that remains, Essentially, the, the mind-body vehicle, the individuation remains and the sense of I-ness remains. What remains of that can become entranced by this freedom because it's delightful. Yeah? And in that entrancement, another prison is created a more subtle prison, but a prison nevertheless. So true liberation hasn't really taken root. So if you like, the bud emerges into the light, but then that bud takes time to mature into a flower. And it's only when it becomes a flower and all the petals open that it can release its fragrance. And that fragrance is what true freedom is. Yeah. So the bud is just the beginning. The fragrance is the maturation and the frequency field of that maturation. 